Now, Keith, here about breaking news. Just with Michael Dawson from the Irish Institute of Music and Song, and he's going to tell us how this current COVID situation has affected his business and what initiatives they have now to uh, try to counteract that and to try and bring more music and song to Fingal. And um, so I'll just let Michael tell you a bit about himself and the plans. Sure. So we are connected to Fingal Academy of Music and teach about 2,500 kids each week in the Fingal area. So obviously we're, we're in schools, we're doing group classes and they all went like most of other people's group, group activities. But we're lucky that we managed to move everything online uh, and then 90% of the kids that were taking one-to-one -one lessons are actually taking lessons online. So we're delighted that at least the, the teachers we have, which a lot of them are musicians and had a lot of gigs coming up, they lost all their all their work, but at least now they can keep teaching um, video online lessons. And to be honest, in some ways, there's positives because we've had to change how we, how we look at online lessons beforehand, mm. you know, if a kid had missed a lesson, maybe we wouldn't have thought about doing an online lesson. But now, if a kid misses a lesson, or if a kid, if the teacher's a little bit sick, that they can't go to a lesson, but maybe they can teach it, now online lessons are, are more viable. So the uptake's been great. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's great. So um, you've created a, 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 a set of different classes and, and, uh, and programs, and they're all going to be available online. and. Is, is, is there a website then to see what's... Yeah, so because of this, we've created a bunch of classes with the Irish Institute of Music and Song. So um, we've just one just finished yesterday, which was an introduction to Irish folk song taught by the director, uh, Donald Carney. Um, that just finished and there was people in that class from California, wow. London, all around Ireland. Really fantastic. There's another class which is on currently, which is um, an introduction to Spanish song. So the class is in Spanish. Right. Uh, and you learn Spanish songs and the English translation. So it's a really fun way of learning um, Spanish. And there's a new class launching, I believe it's next week, which is a class in um, class in uh, public oh. speaking. Uh, so that's going to be launched uh, next week. So if people are interested, they can go to www.irishinstituteofmusic.com. Okay, brilliant. And um, are, the, are the classes... Uh, from here, are they? Are they? So, are, they, are people actually kind of technically visiting Balbriggan? So yeah. The students so, are in? so yeah. the plan was, of course, before COVID came, that people would come here to Balbriggan. This right. is where the new Irish Institute of Music and Song is going to be. Um, many people in Balbriggan know Cadence Music Academy, which you know we're all we're all working together now, and the lessons will take place here. So, um, yeah. There will be no lessons taking place physically here. They're right. all online. So we've got a really, really good system, great setup, mics, lighting, et cetera, to make the, the lessons really, really good. And the feedback from the, the first two online courses, which are about four to six weeks, has been really, really great. So if people want to find out about that feedback, they can tune on to the website and, and check it out. And um, that's really good. Uh, I'm just remembering as well, the first time I met you was when we were, the plan was, uh, it seems like a, a million years ago now for the uh, the choir festival. So um, that, that had a, a a terrible effect now so i suppose that part of the choir effects would, would have helped promote what you're doing now as well so how, how what happened with the <laughs> yeah, in the end so with, with the choir we had we went so from we went from the the newest singing festival in ireland fingal international festival of voices and it wasn't just choirs it was acapella groups it was folk singers it was everything the idea was to make it as inclusive as possible and we went from our first year having 64 groups signed up wow. so that was like 2300 singers coming to bob Brigham that weekend and the start of that week was the that Monday was when it was a, the, the government announced that it was a thousand no 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 uh, activities of or no groups of a thousand or more. So we looked at scaling down the festival then that week to try and save some aspect of it. The, we had international groups coming, so there was 56 uh, 16 to 18 year old girls who had visited um, and they were ready to sing. There was uh, they were from Canada. There was another group from America, from Florida. And we didn't want to so let some them. did come. So they were, they right, were actually okay. here, ready to right. go. And we didn't want really to let them down. But obviously, we had to we had to call it. And but you know what, the the process of getting to know everyone in Balbriggan, the businesses, the networks, like 36 businesses wow. in Balbriggan sponsored the festival, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, so we got to know those people, we got to know local community groups, the Scouts, Balbriggan, our Balbriggan, etc. So we got, the, we made really, really good kind of relationships with these people. And we hope that next year, um, Please God. fingers crossed, yeah. although we, we still don't know really if we can launch it for next year, but if we can, um, we're hoping that you know the relationships we made will, will help and also to be honest a lot of the choirs that said they were going to come have said they're going to come next year if if it's going ahead so brilliant that's great. That's excellent excellent brilliant thanks very much uh, about breaking news and uh, 
we'll, we'll keep you posted on how, how things are progressing here and don't forget to check out the site and sign up for some of the classes it's, it, it sounds like a really really good project so thanks a lot